uh, fueling 911 calls over fire and medical issues. And today, the LA Fire Department has given us a rare look into its 911 call center. Yeah, this is where thousands of emergency calls are answered every day. NBC4's Christian Casares is live for us now with how the operation works. Christian. Well, it's a massive undertaking, as you can imagine, to serve the more than 4 million people that live or work in the city of Los Angeles. But according to the fire department, they're doing it in a way few others operate. Engine 60 lockout intersection Whitset and Sherman Way. Omar Rodriguez is a firefighter dispatcher and is the first line of contact to field crews during a 911 emergency. Call takers take calls from all over the city and then they build the incident. They send it to the dispatchers, whether it's me, the uh, Metro Fire or Metro Rescue. Rodriguez is one of several responding to fire or medical emergencies within the 470 square miles in the city of Los Angeles at the Metro Fire Communications near downtown. They're going to dispatch fire in the metropolitan area. On Tuesday, NBC4 got a first-hand look at the operations, which according to Fire Captain Eric Scott, is unlike others. These members are actually sworn. They have a badge, meaning that they've been out there, the boots on the ground, that have actually responded to all these emergencies. Therefore, their response time is nearly zero because they're giving life-saving uh, messages. As Southern California continues to battle high temperatures, LAFD tells me they have seen an increase in 911 calls. If you compare last week to the same week in June, they responded to about 100 additional calls to the roughly 4,000 daily emergency calls. It's difficult to quantify that a 911 call that the true origin is heat related because it might just come in as a general sick. He just created a lockout. Rodriguez tells me while it can be rough to stay grounded during any emergency call, his biggest challenge is a simple detail people tend to forget. The address is the number one most important thing for us. Because as, 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 as long as we get a, a valid address, we can send resources there no matter what the incident is. Well, the LAFD tells me there are ways you at home can help minimize the amount of calls that come in uh, on hot days like today. For example, staying hydrated and avoid going outside if possible during the peak hours of the day when it's the hottest. They say doing so will help again minimize the amount of calls that come in. That way the fire department can focus on other emergencies. Christian Casares, NBC4 News.